Hello interlopers, Chili Mango here and we're going to continue playing The Long Dark. Uh, we last were in Pleasant Valley, just arrived, so we're going to continue and make our way over to the farmhouse. So, let's get to it. Picking up from last time, I did write all my notes for what we left over at Coastal uh, Highway. In my uh, normal runs that I don't stream, I do do this as I'm doing it. But I don't think I need to uh, bore you with that. <laughs> I have looted all the rest in here, but I did remember that I did not check these. Yay! Salty crackers. Salty crackers are a brilliant source of food just because of how unbelievably to slow me down. How unbelievably light they are. So if we uh, have a look. They only weigh point one kilograms. Very, very cheap, and you get six hundred calories. So they are a great source of food. So I don't tend to eat those unless I have to. Also, as well as this little cabinet here, there is a sneaky cabinet hiding behind here. But, as you can see, I don't have a hatchet. We are very heavy. Because we are very tired. So usually, when our uh, tired meter goes below halfway, that's when you start getting the penalties for your carrying capacity. So I think what we're going to do is, we're going to get some water so you can start a fire using this method using a match tinder wood however there is a strong possibility especially at the beginning of your runs when your level is level one level do two anything for a drink right now that this actually doesn't work so a way of doing this so that you don't waste matches is lighting a torch so now even if this doesn't work, your torch is still lit. So you're only ever using one match instead of using multiple for when it doesn't work. So uh, it's always good to have a couple of torches carrying around with you. Um, you can chain torches, which I do quite a lot. If it's a nice day and it's not too windy, I could light this torch, go for a walk and then continue to light another torch and another torch and basically chain them so I've only used one match that really went out so I just used one match to light this and then I could walk all the way to the farmhouse with a torch that I've chained so as one's going down start another one as that goes down start another one start another one and then uh, basically I can start a fire in the farmyard by only using this one match that I've done here. So if it's a nice day, I would really recommend doing that. You just need to make sure that obviously you have quite a lot of torches so that you'll be able to chain them and you don't run out of them, basically. So this is going... We can read, but... Yeah, we'll read. Oh no, I'm thirsty. Let's wait for this to get to get done. And then we'll do that. Never thought I'd be dying from starvation. So as well, what I also need to remember is is that we can do have a look so we've got portable water and then we've got unsafe water now we can do this because we've oh, got gear is slowing me down. these water purification tablets so basically when you um, are boiling water you've got the first half which basically melts it but it's still not safe to drink and then you have to boil it again for it to become drinkable but if you've got these you can use these tablets on unsafe water to make it safe so as we can see We've got one litre. So if I just try that now. 
purifying water. Perfect. So now, if I go back to my water, it's turned that one litre of unsafe water now into a litre of safe. So basically, I'm going to let these melt, but I'm just going to pick them up. So let's just have a look how many more. So I've got one litre. So I've got two more tablets. So we'll make one more litre purified water and then we'll make another litre of unsafe and do the same. One left. Feels like a lot of oh. gear. Anyway. So yeah, so that is the basic principle of that. So now we've got loads of water. So it's going night time, so we're just gonna eat a cattail so we can read an hour. I'm not gonna chain at my fire just because it's night time, so I'd waste a lot of wood. I'm going to need to rest soon. Perfect. Now I've lost my bed. So, we need to have... Is it 600 calories? 675 calories for sleeping 10 hours. Now in Interloper, you can only sleep 10 hours without taking damage. If you take any more, you get thirsty and then you start taking damage. And I've lost my bed. There you go. So let's sleep 10 hours. So we're, um, let's have a look. Mm, pretty light, so as you can see, I was thirsty now. So if you sleep for any more than 10 hours, you will, oh, you will start taking damage. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make our way over. It's still quite heavy. too much around here because I'd like to drop off a load of this stuff. At the farmyard and then I can continue, come back round and continue to loot. Just go in here. Have a little look through here, shall we? Potato. See if there's anything in this microwave now. Oh, this person loved pancakes. <laughs> you have to be dedicated to have a picture up in your kitchen. Nothing here. Lantern's getting a little, little low on fuel, not too bad, but just need to bear that in mind. 
it is going to be daytime soon, so hopefully we can find some more Mount Lantern fuel. I'm not going to take the water, as we've just made a load. Did that. Not missed anything. Oh, yep. This gear is starting to slow me down. Salt. Right, so I think I'm just going to head now to the farm. Because we are quite heavy. And I would like to drop everything off. As you can see, I'm walking very, very slowly. I'm not going to even pick up those twigs. drop anything just to help because we're over by 10 we do have some mountain fuel that's good let's fill this up um, I might just drop a bit just drop a few of these just because it's quite painful Walking slowly. But it's a beautiful sunrise. So I am thoroughly expecting to meet up with some wolves. a deer here so I might see if I can get that deer to go over that hill and see if and check to see if there's any wolves for me because they'll attack the deer before I get there so you can kind of use the wildlife like the deer and the uh, rabbits to kind of check things for you or to kind of nudge them in the direction you're going see if there's any wolves now and it's decided to run at me <laughs> well that didn't work my fingers feel numb it's quite cold losing our warmth quite quickly Over the brow of this hill, have a look where we are. Hypothermia Damn. risk. Freezing. Just need to keep an eye on that. So we can see the barn through those trees. Where my top finger is, that's the red barn. So I don't think we're going to go there quite yet. I think change of plan. I think I'm going to loot Pleasant Valley. Try and find um, some of the key items that we need, like a bedroll. If we can find a hammer, that'd be brilliant because we need to get a weapon so we can defend ourselves and start hunting. Um, and then I might make my way to Mystery Lake. that's what we'll do. And we'll do a little round trip around Pleasant Valley before we leave. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> the deer don't seem particularly bothered. They do now. So there's the barn. 
And just behind the barn, that is the birch forest. So that's good for gathering your birch bark. Which, when you make it into a tea and drink it, it helps. It's like a modifier for your condition. So when you sleep, you regain health a lot quicker. Looks like I survived another night. So it's always good to collect uh, birch when you see it. And it does actually contribute as well to vitamin C. So I think in terms of scurvy, it is one of the main easily accessible foods that can help you with vitamin C. That and of course fishing. The crow is flying overhead. So there is some debate among people what the crows actually mean. Whether it's telling you about the weather or whether it's just saying, look, it's clear enough to have these up here, these birds flying around, which kind of indicate where carcasses are. Um, I, I don't know the answer myself. I just know there's a... Uh, a lot of confusion and speculation about that. So we'll go and check out this carcass. Whenever you see the crows, always look out for the actual feathers that they usually drop. I think it's usually maximum three. I think I can use this. One. The actual temperature is not as good as this scarf. However, when we do it up, it will be better. So for now, we'll stick with this and I will repair it and then we'll um, change that over from the scarf. Not many wolves. So I think the farmyard is just over here. So I'm not running just because it is early day. I don't want to get too tired too quickly. Yes, you can see there's the top of the silo. So just over this ridge is the farmyard. On my stalker runs, this is usually where there is a lot of wolves. Look. Can't see any. Just check out this barn. Oh, is that to the deer? That's to the dead deer. So up there is the radio station that you need to repair to do be able to do signal void for this region. And a signal void, uh, that is the first tale that Hinterland released. And we'll talk about that a little more when we go up to repair it. So let's 
going. Perfect. Oh, another one. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Ninety-nine percent. Brilliant. So that should be a lot warmer than our scarf. Two. Perfect. So we're very slowly getting there in our quest to be warm. So I am confident that there is a maglens in this house. Thank goodness. Chips. Let's just take our time, have a look round. Deck of papers. Just what I need. Summit soda. This could end up being useful. Driving gloves. anything in here? No. Try this drawer. Nope. Nothing in them. Alright, let's make our way up. Just check everything out. This will come in handy. Some more tablets. Oh, antiseptic. Very nice. I think that's our first antiseptic, isn't it? Brilliant. So we do have uh, the uh, old man's beard, which is the natural antiseptic, and this is the one that you can find out in the world. Nothing. What Ski have we jacket. Here? A lot warmer. Yes. Perfect. Let's just take a look at this one. No, that one's warmer. So we're very slowly getting our temperature up. It's starting to weigh me down. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll drop everything in a second. And then I think this is the last room up here. There's got to be something useful in here. Another hoodie. Check behind here, nothing. And is this just a table? This isn't got any drawers on it or anything? No, I don't think so. Right, so we head back down. We've still got the kitchen to loot. Anything in there? No. And also we've got downstairs. Right, so we're just going to drop a few things now just because he is complaining. Right. A lot of potatoes. Down for now. 
more things. That'll come in handy. Cooking pot. So the cooking pot is um if you look into how much water you can actually make in any one go, the cooking pot is the one to use. So you can make about two litres with that one, whereas the um skillet is only one. But with the skillet you can make pies. And with the um Sewing kit and um second yeah and with the cooking pot you can actually make I think is it like broths Fry bar I'm just gonna get this out to make sure I don't miss anything I think I can use Redstone this. Redstone for sharpening your axes and your blades when we get one. Check on the floor, sometimes they can be a bit sneaky. Potato. Done. Let's have a look for it. Don't know if there's anything in these crates, but of course we can't check because we this stuff will come in here. need to get an axe or a hatchet. Right, okay. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. So let's drop all of the potatoes and carrots in a pile. Keep the rest of those. Um just put all these up here. Our empty cans. the other ones as well. Yeah, let's drop them off here. Right, and then we'll also drop this and just put it up here just so it's easily visible. So I am quite nervous to go to a Timberwolf Mountain with the fact that we don't have a bed yet because there's not many places to be able to sleep so I am a little bit nervous to do that right, let's see anything else so I think we are going to for now stick with the cooking pot just because of the weight and at the moment we are not going to be cooking any pies put all these on here ready 
speed this up a little bit. Feed over there. This is just all of our stuff. Okay, we don't need to organise that right now. So let's just have a look at our clothes. Because we do need to drop some of these things. So we can break those up, but I can leave them there for now. And then when we come back and we need some more uh, fabric, we can do that then. So let's just see. So let's just try and repair this. Get ourselves as warm as possible for travelling. Actually, let's do it in this view. So I can just see uh, now which has the um, smallest condition, or the lowest condition. Try and repair this. Failed. Try again. Perfect. And I might do that one as well, get everything into the 70s. And then we're looking good. Just want to check as well how much cloth we do have. Perfect. And it's oh. definitely a storm. Right, so let's just have a look. So we've got three. We've got a lot of leather, so let's just drop some leather. Yeah, so we're kind of getting there now got a lot of matches so we're gonna do the same we're gonna make a fire cabinet put some matches in here too bad the amount of wood because there's absolutely loads of wood here. Put that over there. So let's have a little look outside. Yes. <laughs> so while it's windy. Let's see if there's any loot out here. So funnily enough you know which way you're going walking in blizzards is actually safer when it comes to wolves because wolves despawn oh, when there's blizzards me down. so right now there'll be no wolves around me if the blizzard comes and you're outside and there's a wolf near you you know I'd be a little bit careful of that because it might not despawn but because we were inside when this started, um, there will be no wolves. Drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Yes, that is crazy, Will. Checking here as well. Sometimes there's some loot. Nice. There is a lot of books. Another can opener. Just out of this stuff. Stale bar. <sighs> so we're all getting a little low on health and condition. So I'm just gonna eat and drink just so we don't take any more damage. So let's drop that book. Oh, I've done that one. So we'll drop that one. And we'll come back for those. Right, so I might just read for a little bit to let this pass. Another candy bar. 
Big drink. And let's just have a look at the hacksaw. So let's read. This rate, it's going to be night time. Need anything. So nice. Carcass harvesting number two. So let's take a look at that. So that's basically gives me a ten percent reduction in meat harvesting times. Very good. So we're on our way. Obviously, we've not started a lot of them, but anyway. Well, these two and that one. Not really on interloper. So I am going to drop this book that I've just finished by the fire so that I know that it's been read and I can burn it next time. Sometimes I do collect all the books. Just nice to see them all laid out. But we're not going to do that this time. Right, okay, so I think we're just going to continue reading. So what I think we're going to do is is uh, do a round trip of Pleasant Valley. We'll head up to the crash site. We'll go to the cave uh, near the entrance of where you go to a Timberwolf Mountain. And then come back round, make our way to the Gotta farmhouse. And then uh, we'll see what we're doing and maybe head over to Mystery Lake. Okay. So, time of day, it's going close tonight. I think we'll sleep here, get our condition back up, and then uh, we'll make our way there tomorrow. Alright, okay. So, let's just drop this. Looks like a them. lot of gear. It's because you're carrying a battery. Let's put that there. It's a lot of batteries don't need him. Yeah, so we're just going to get rid of the excess weight now. We are under, but the more weight capacity we have, the better. So let's just make our way. So we're doing okay. Got Tinder. We're not going to be doing uh, repairing things on this journey. I will take that though, just in case. Um... Right, we seem to be okay. So, let's see if we can read again. Actually, are we hungry? We are. <laughs> Clicking the wrong things. I've never been so hungry in my life. Perfect. So, let's get ourselves ready to sleep. So, we've done all right, Loot Rise, but we're still missing some of the crucial things. So, we've got the hacksaw. We did have some simple tools, even though we have... Oh, it's not a bed here. Even though we did leave that behind, but we know where it is, so that's fine. We've got matches, we've got a crowbar, and we've got a lantern. So we're doing pretty good. But we are missing some key key items. That'll be the next thing that we need to work on. So, like I said before, we're going to go on a little explore. Let's get our hunger up. So need a bit more. drink and like we said before maximum 10 hours and let's hope the weather is nice and kind to us right okay so i didn't re sleep the full 10 hours because i wasn't tired enough but we're getting there 
I'm gonna so need to eat soon. Quiet away, really. Too dark. Okie dokie. Did I get that yet? So food wise, not a lot. So we're gonna take some of this. We've got painkillers, we've got antiseptic, we've got bandages and we've got an emergency system. So we're all good on that front. Fire. We've got some sticks, we'll collect some more. We've got a book, matches, fine. So we're doing okay. So I'm just going to uh, skip time, I think. So we're not waiting around. Oh, that was the rug. I thought I saw something then under the bed. Have a drink, see if we can sleep. An hour. I would like to be fully rested by the time we leave. Oh, an aurora. Nice, we're gonna have a look outside. I've been in this car either of her. It's warm. Message. So those mementos kind of give you uh, hints for when you're playing. Because um, otherwise you could easily miss something, so Hinterland very kindly added little hints in there Just to help you out when you're new to this game you need a horse. Nothing It is ch chilly, but Just stay in here and sleep It's a little bit cold, but not a lot Just warm up. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. So if you're ever in the dark and you kind of know where you are but you want to try and make your way upstairs, you can actually use your bedroll which will kind of show where things are. Of course we don't have one. But it's a good little um, hack. Or good little helper to guide yourself around if it's a bit dark. How much water do we have? Okay. Just need to keep an eye on that. And we're fully rested. So let's go on an adventure, shall we? And we're on a mission. First things, we're going to go to this barn. So 
So we're going to go into this barn and then we're going to go back around here, past there, over to three strikes. And then make our way all the way, oh, falling down the road. And then make our way over to the crash site, which is over there. So we're going to do one big circle. So there's some rabbits over here. And a tractor. Wouldn't it be cool if you could ride the tractor during uh, the Aurora? A bed so you can actually sleep in here. But I think you'd just sleep in the farmhouse, wouldn't you? I don't know if there is any loot in here. That's a bed. Fire barrel, so make a nice fire. Can't see anything. skim through it to see if uh, it picks up anything. Can't see anything. So there is a little place up here. You have to do a little bit of parkouring. There's a body here. Goodness. Soda. Help folks, we're low on water. And you can just drop here. And it won't hurt you. Right, okay. Couldn't see anything. So let's get walking. I do find it strange that I've not seen really any wolves. I keep thinking I've accidentally stalked, um, chose Pilgrim. Get over here. Now over here there is a bear spawn. So we just need to be a bit careful. Oh, I've seen a bear over there before while playing. in this direction as well where it's the um, bunker the signal void for this region which usually has uh, some goodies in but I'm guessing not as much on interloper look around and see if we can see anything It's not too cold, and the health's alright. Some crows up there. Feels like an empty pit. Might be worth going and having a look. barns around here as well. I've always wondered what that sound is. That diddle -lo 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 -lo. If anyone knows, please let me know. Hello 
Mr. Deer. Check this out over here. Like, is it meant to be what them birds called? A woodpecker. Could end up being useful. Some quality tools. Perfect. I mark those off my list now. And we'll uh, just go over to that place over there. We did drop some sticks, so we need to make sure we pick up some more. What tracks are there? Oh, they're just deer. Can't feel my hands. <laughs> Looks like a deer carcass. <laughs> there it is. See if there's any feathers. And over this way is uh, the th three strikes. Might be a good opportunity as well to see if we can see any saplings. this is true or not but if anyone's watching this it'd be nice if you let me go as well um if the world gets colder over time on interloper I just remember uh, hearing someone say ages ago that on interloper that is a thing i don't know how um for how long or how cold it gets I think it's probably what's contributed to the fact I feel like I won't go to Timberwolf and Ash Canyon until I've got a bedroll or some better clothing. There you go, this is uh, three strikes. Something terrible happened. Hey, okay. oh, Jerry can. So at least we can fill our lantern now. I need more of that. Hmm. Quite happy. Why 
a barrel, quite handy. <clears throat> Something's gotta go. Spray can just and soda. Stuff. Okay. So I think we're just gonna carry on. Oh, yes. Saplings. Just feel like our journey to getting our rolls has started now. Very nice. I'm happy. So this direction is the crash site. I think what I'll do is maybe hug this wall over here. Make sure I keep heading in the right direction. Sight. So these here are what you need to be able to make the bow. The ones that I just collected are the ones that you need to make arrow shafts. They do take a while because you've got to cure them before you can do any crafting with them. Polaroid. Okay. I'm not entirely sure where that is. Wolf. There are wolves here. Well, I knew there was, but anyway. Right, okay. Okay, get, get our flare out. So, flares are really good for wolves if you light one. Um, basically, you can't harm you. Or at least that's what I think. Um, if he keeps following us, I'll show you that method. Basically, you can light it, then equip a stone, and he will flee from you. Right. Well, I've come the wrong way. Oh, let's see if he gets the bunny rabbits. So, like I was saying before, about the deer you can get the wolves to attack other animals so if we get the bunny yep so can you see so i'm gonna crouch now brilliant and what you can actually do is use this to your advantage so because he is busy eating this you can actually get close Aim at him, and he'll run away. And then, you can pick up this rabbit. So, that method of the stone only works when a wolf is eating. So, only then can you walk up to him, aim a stone or any weapon at him, and then he will flee from you. I wouldn't do that in any other situation. So the only problem is now that we have picked up that rabbit, um, we now stink. Just heard a wolf bark. Oh, it's going for the other rabbit. <laughs> Can hear him. Thank you, Mr. Rabbit, for looking after us. So. Is this the road? Right. I'm a bit further down than what I would like to be. So we are going to follow this road that I think will take us. Or I could go this way. I do know this way. 
and go up the log. I'll go this way. I know this one. So we'll probably get to the crashed plane and then warm up, I should think. a little low on health. It's minus five. I don't know whether to do it now. Actually, I think there's a fire barrel down here. I might do it now. And then we can uh, make our way up to the plane crash. the way I usually come when I want to get up to the plane crash. You can make your way up there. But we will just collect these feathers. This is birch bark. So if you collect two of those, you can make that into a tea. Right, okay. We're just gonna go straight to now the cave up here, because I was sure there was a barrel, but apparently not. for that log. Let's just run a little bit because we are pretty cold. weird about that call. About that man. Yeah, so our health is now half. So I need to warm up really. This for is warming up and it is midday so hopefully we'll get a bit warmer. The day goes on. So we're not far at all from the plane crash. And if we go up there, um, that takes us to some buildings where you can actually go into the basement, which is a safe place. However, whenever I've done that, there's always a wolf there. These trees are the uh, birch bark. They're the ones that drop. That bark that you can make the tea. Very nice. So, can we warm up in here? Yes, it's warm enough. Perfect. 
So, do I make fire? So that it's quicker. Ooh. I think we will make fire. So, I'm going to light a torch so that we don't waste a match. Surrounded by snow. And let's uh, warm you up. That'll just warm us up a bit nicer. We'll get some water cooking while we're here. We got some uh, tablets. And you know what? I'm going to eat one of those just so my health starts regenerating. Just because we are a little bit low. Nice. Brilliant. So we're going to use our purification tablets. So we'll use two. We'll get those two lasers clean. I'll do is I will show you the torch method. So this is chaining torches. Mm, they're all right torches. They're not brilliant. Okay. So this is how you chain torches. So we can use that one match and light a fire at another destination without using another match. a nice day and also having a lit torch actually gives you a like uh, bonus I don't think it's much but just takes the edge off and I am going to eat again because I am a little bit low but with us having a torch as well if we do come across some wolves we will be safe. I don't think there's much loot here. I think I can use this. Items. I can barely walk with this much gear. Oh, here comes the fog. So, as you can see, my torch is quite low. You throw it to the ground, you get your next one, and you'll see where it says torch. I could eat anything. And this one's lit. So, that is how you chain torches. So now we can make these, that flame last a lot longer. Anymore. The sports vest. And remember, even though this gear isn't necessarily the warmest or what we want, 
we can break it down and get extra cloth. So it's always worth it. But it would be very nice if we got some thermals. me feel a little bit funny this just because it's on an angle so I like to get out here as quickly as possible one there but I'm not too bothered. What have we here? Fuck your jersey. So, I think we're going to keep this way, and we're going to plug the wall, and this should take us to hopefully the Timberwolf Mountain Pass. And also Foggle, so makes the uh, ambient temperature warmer. So when it is foggy, it is warmer, which is nice. So if we go this way, get to the wall and turn right. Now hopefully we'll get to that cache. Die if I don't get some food soon. Okay. Oh, you're fine. We've got a fire as well, so if we do run into a wolf, we can scare him off. Yes, so I know where I am. So let's go check out that blind and then it, we go that way. And that will take us to where we want to go. Far off. Then perhaps we can continue this fire up where the cache is. Torch, make sure 
as you get into this point. You can relight your next one. Because if you don't catch it in time, you will lose the flame on that other torch. as well we've got that rabbit that we stole from the wolf so we've got a little bit of food as well so i think is it here this feels right yes stuff we're going to the cache and then I think we're going to call it there If you go around this tree, that is the rope to Timberwolf Mountain, and this is the cache. Now this cache is always here, so it's a really good spot to remember. Great, so what I think I'll do, I will think I will leave it there for today, and uh, when we come back next time we'll have a loot of this place. I'm just having a cheeky look now, see if we can see anything. Anyway. Yep, so we will carry on looting here. Like I say, I'm really happy we got the quality tools. So we're getting there with a few bits and pieces and we'll just keep looting and we'll carry on from going to the cave further down and then back round to, yeah. So we'll get back to the big red barn and then we'll carry on. So yeah, really good run. Thank you very much everyone and uh, I'll see you next time.